Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Bugs, and today guys, you're either watching this video because you're subscribed to me or you're interested in Off The Grid, and I'm here to give you my realest review about this game from someone that actually played the game, as you can see, you know, I'm not going to be a reviewer that played the game for five hours and say, this is what this game's about. No, I actually thoroughly played this game, and this hours are in-game, not just in the lobbies, on unhexing and all these other stuff, this is actually just straight gameplay. I probably have over 120, 130 hours into this game, but yeah. Um, this is going to be a raw video or a podcast type video because I'm just doing it straight flow, no stopping, no cuttings, just grab some food and enjoy the video because I'm just going to be real about this game and is it worth even playing? All right. So first, this game is an early access. Guess what? I don't care. I'm going to give you my first impressions and I'm going to give you a list of every like things that I put on this notepad right here and just go through it for y'all and I'm going to have that cut up in the video so... You know, you can just cut to the parts that you're interested in, um, stuff that you want to skip because you already know about it. And yeah, let's get straight into the video oh, as I open hexes. <laughs> All right. So the first thing, my first impression, I'm not going to lie. When I first heard about this game was literally from a ninja tweet ad. You know, he was like, hey, I'm playing off the grid and stuff. And I'm sitting here like, oh, brother, what is this stupidness? Let me let me give it a shot, you know, because I'm a craving content creator that's trying to make it. So, you know what? Sure, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Um, and, you know, getting into the game, you know, it looked like your decent, basic, generic battle royale, whatever. Cool, cool. When I first loaded into the game, guys, it was horse shit. Yes, it was terrible. Why? FPS, bro. The game was literally unplayable. I just couldn't load into the game properly. My frames were dying. It was just horrible. I had to actually go look up a YouTube video just to get the settings, which you could, you know, get in my description where I actually made a better and more proper video of like how to get more frames in this game. If you still don't know to this day how to, um, but yeah, once I got that done, it still wasn't that great. It was somewhat playable, but it still was terrible. And you know, when I played it and played it, that's when I actually started falling in love with the actual gameplay and not, I guess, the game or. I don't even know how that works but pretty much the gameplay is what sold me for it not you know the graphics and etc they were trying to do improve and all this other stuff that i'm gonna be really talking to and why the game is fluctuating how it is so yeah that was my first impression in the game if you don't know what off the grid is it is an extraction battle royale that's gonna have a future battle royale of 150 players with a 60 hour campaign yeah a campaign and a battle royale how is that gonna work i have no clue but they're gonna be able they're somehow going to be able to do it and how they're going to be able to do it is they have neil blumkamp if you don't know who neil blumkamp is i'm probably saying his name and butchering his name but it is what it is as the guy that created district nine that movie and and many many others and i'm not gonna lie i think he could do it just off rip of just loading into the game um cinematics um the cinematics they have right here with the coming soon of the battle royale and stuff if you see any of these videos please go on youtube and go to off the grid cinematics i don't care what anyone says off the grid has the best cinematics I've ever seen in gaming. Like, not in, like, crazy, like, oh, my God, it's just wicked. It just something that really caught my interest that made me actually want to watch it. Because other cinematics, I'd be like, oh, yeah, cool, 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 and skip it. This actually caught my interest. Why? I don't know. It just had a different feel when I watched it. It was just interesting, and it just caught my attention. Um, Another topic we have is that ninjas in the game yes tyler evans in the game i have to play it now now nah, um it was just cool to see that they're out really working with content creators already and the game hasn't even released yet because again this is in early access but um the only thing i'm sad about is that you know all of this was an ad and i haven't seen these guys on it without an ad so that's very sad to see hopefully in the future we can get creators back on it that you know when they gotta skip in the game but we'll see um next is the fps like I said in my first impression, the FPS is shit. Is it FPS still shit? Yes, it is terrible. But there are ways, again, to make it better. You know, video in the description or comments, where the hell I put it. It's going to be somewhere down there. But um, they did performance um, improvements. Um, and I know a lot of people saying that the game is just unoptimized. Yes and no. Yes, it's somewhat unoptimized. But at the same time, it is. It's just that the requirements, that's the thing. The requirements are very high. This game requires you bare minimum to have a 3070. Yeah, I don't know what game directors or whatever devs they had that said, yeah, the average person has a 3070. Yeah, you need to wake the hell up because you butchered your your early access launch. Let's not, not even say launch because you're still working on it. It's early access. You're going to improve it. That's awesome. But you butchered this early access when you marketed. Again, another topic we're going to get to in the future. So bad by just having the game unoptimized. 
I don't care what anyone says or how you feel about this game. This game numbers were through the roof the first two, three weeks. It still has a great, decent amount of players. Like I said, I get into games in like 40 seconds, maybe a minute max. But they're all real players, 60 players, and I'll get into that again later. But yeah, you butchered it. So many people wanted to give the game a shot, give it a chance. But Kalidhi can't even run it. I don't know who idea it was, but you, you need to get fired. I'm sorry. <laughs> you need to get fired. The motion, I don't know. But stop being toxic. Um, next topic I have is the third person. What do I feel about the third person? I feel like, you know, this is a very controversy thing when it not controversy, but a very opinion, anything where people only play certain like third party and first person, you know, shooters and stuff. I actually am a first person shooter. I actually don't enjoy third person shooters just because of, you know, the whole look around corner before anyone sees you BS. I, I think it's corny, but in this game, it works. And the reason why it works is because of how fast and hectic and crazy the game is, which I'm going to get into actually right now. The crazy movement, the cyber abilities are amazing. I'm going to actually show a few things off. And I forgot to be opening up hexes because I'm so in, de in depth of talking about the game that I just love it. But yeah, if you don't know, um, there's limbs in this game that literally changes your abilities and how you play and all that stuff. And it's amazing. It, it, it changes how battle royales are. And it's, again, dope. Uh, let's go back into opening hexes. <laughs> um, but yeah, the guns, you know, they're, you're a generic gun. Not, nothing too crazy to say about the guns. Like, they're amazing. They're just guns, you know, how every gun is. But the abilities, the movement that you could do, the, the, the cancel stuff you could do with the abilities, it's phenomenal. Um, next we have is the in-game market. Yes, you're probably wondering why why am I decoding all this stuff? Well, if you don't know, you actually have an inventory of items that you can um, use to make um, a loadout. You know how Call of Duty does it with the loadout and you purchase, or not purchase, but you make and stuff and build? Yeah, they have the same thing, but instead, you actually own the items. Yes, you know how most games, you kind of don't own items. You kind of just buy it and, you know, it's just on your account. And then whenever you quit the game, it's just gone well not gone but stuck there forever all those money that you wasted is just gone yeah in this game what they're trying to do is they're trying to allow you to kind of make profit off of your own items with in the game free to play and you literally get these items by just playing the game loot box but not a loot box well the how do i say the loot boxes are free but to open them it costs but right now in this current state of the game you kind of just are able to open up these loot boxes for free yeah and guess what? When the game launches, you keep them. So, do I recommend playing the game if you see a future of it? Absolutely. But do I recommend playing the game right now? Not entirely. And again, I will get to that point in the future. But yeah, that's pretty much what this is. It's allowing you to own your weapons, allowing you to own your skins and etc. in the game. And like I told you, you can sell it. Literally, I could just click on any of these items. And there's a whole market telling me, you know, margins of like how items are being sold. I actually could look on the... Uh, market offers of how things are selling and theoretically guys you're going to be able to transfer this money out into your um real account so right now i have 1500 um guns currently 1500 guns is 10 dollars usd now this is where the controversy happens it's inside a blockchain and i know i know there's a whole bad thing about gaming and web3 and all that stuff personally i never really understood the bad butt about it i get you know crypto is bad and blah 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 there's many things bad in the world me making a couple a couple of dollars on the side from a game i'm playing i don't see the issue but anyways <laughs> but yeah and at the same time if you are you know pushed and hard about that you actually don't even have to interact with it. Now, theoretically, you are interacting with it by just playing the game because, you know, when you get the X's, you know, you're, you are activating. But you don't have to sell items. You don't have to buy items. You don't even have to open them. So if, so if you had this big stigma about, you know, the blockchain and all that stuff, you don't even have to interact with it. And I think Shroud and many other streamers kind of explain it the best way. If I have time, I'll throw the video in in the middle of this and just play it out to the whole theory of it. But pretty much... He kind of just compares it to the CSGO market. Now, you're probably wondering, why don't I just do the CSGO market like the CSGO market? I'm not the dev. I don't know why. It would have been awesome if they could have did it. Now, the reason why the game isn't on Steam is because apparently, even the Stroud said it, apparently um, if um, cr uh, like dev creators wanted to do something like the Steam market or CSGO, they could only get like 5% or like some crazy thing of one percent revenue of of something while you know whatever happens with the market and steam when it comes to fees and stuff they keep it so that's why they didn't do that and that's why they're going the whole blockchain kind of method and again in my opinion i don't think there's nothing bad about it 
but I know how the stigma is for gaming. I'm not a Web3 gamer, guys. You can check my channel, bro. I promise. I promise I'm not a crypto, bro. I promise. <laughs> but yeah. Um, next thing I was going to say, this is not an NFT game. Again, how I just pretty much explained it to y'all. You don't have to theoretically do anything with the NFTs or any of that. You can just play the game how you want it. You can literally just go and hit play every time. And don't even have to think about, you know, load out hexes and all that stuff. You can just play the game like a normal game, which is awesome. Um, next is the subscription. I know a lot of people hate this. Stop making us buy stuff that a game isn't complete. I half agree. It's like, yeah, I agree, but at the same time, they have to see the interest. You know, I feel like this is the way of like the companies to understand like, are people interested in the game? Are people liking the game enough to buy it? You know, and I get it from you know player views. Is like, I'm not trying to buy into something that isn't gonna make it. Isn't gonna fail. This game's gonna die in two, three months. Games only die. When everyone does the whole it's going to die train. If you generally enjoy a game and just play it, I promise you so many more games will actually live on. But for the fact that there's this big stigma of like when a new game drops, it's going to die. It makes no one wants to invest in time and play that they actually enjoy. And then it just continues that cycle. And then guess what? I go back to the same boring, hating game that y'all like. Or, or y'all hate. <coughs> Apex. <coughs> COD. <coughs> Valorant. And then complain about it. Don't want to play video games. And then when a new game comes out, you're like, oh, I like this. It's going to die in a week. I'm going to go back to my old. And yeah, I just repeat the cycle over and over. I don't think it's a bad idea. If you want to invest in the game, do it. If you don't, you don't have to. For me personally, I only did it because there was actually a loophole how to get it for free. At first, there was a three-day trial um, to, to do it. And if you earn X amount of gun, you can just buy the um, subscription for free. I just grinded those three days, and within two days and a half, I got enough, and then I bought it, and now I have this for a whole month for free. Now, I guess they saw my video because I posted it, and I guess other people were doing it, and I guess they realized a lot of people were just um, canceling it but still having a subscription. And, yeah, I guess they pulled the plug on that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but, yeah. Um, next, the main core of the game, meta and things to prove. I made a whole list. Actually, I'm going to bring it up for you all. I'm not going to go through it i'm just gonna skim through it so y'all could just watch it and i forgot to open up the hexes i'm so sorry guys i'm just so into the conversation that i'm just forgetting to also click on the skins and stuff but yeah if you go to um off the grid thing and you go to their um pc discussion i actually made a full document yes this is this is how interested i am into this game that i sat down and made a full document on how they can improve it and not only that i'm going to slowly slow it down for y'all so y'all could just pause the video and y'all could just read my like opinions and ideas and stuff that i came up with but not only that i actually got the devs yes the devs actually took notice of my um well, I did tag one. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I did tag one. But yeah, he actually put it into like their internal documentation to track down and like actually discuss it thoroughly and stuff. And I think that's amazing. You know, I actually have devs that want to listen to their players that actually have a massive feedback um, to them is an amazing idea to me. Like, I, I love when devs actually listen to their people that are constantly playing their game. That, in my again, opinion, I do feel like players, pro slash, you know, people that invest time in, you know, devs' games, not saying have more information than them but understand how things work better than them because they're in the environment of playing different play styles and stuff and how stuff works and all that stuff. So um, there's a lot of very toxic things in this game. Um, like every game, you know, every game is going to be toxic and stuff, but it is going to start driving people away if things aren't being, you know, dealt with. You know, for example, if you are a player, you know about the squaw, you know about the tap nine, you know about the paralyzer, you know about other things that will be broken over time when these stuff get nerfed, like the road runners, the leapers, the, the, um the ripper you know all that stuff and i kind of just give an idea of like certain things like current hardcore stuff right now again i'll keep telling them improvements because i already know what the next meta is already going to be for this game but right now there's a lot of things again what i just stated is just corely just not fun like when i play this game when i don't see sweats in my game i can just do whatever the hell i want you know i just grab guns and abilities and change it up and mix it up have fun but when i see those few sweats I am forced, and when I say I'm forced, I'm forced to run a paralyzer, tap nine, and whatever long range gun or even a shotgun, and it it gets boring sometimes because uh, it's like, for example, I'm pretty sure we all know this in many games, something is OP. People gotta realize, and this is from a player point of view, my casuals, you gotta realize that if something is broken, we don't want to nerf it because you know we we want to be boring, we don't want the game to be fun. Listen, if you are doing something out of the ordinary that you feel like to yourself and you're performing well, better than you ever have in a game, 
Imagine what a better player is going to do with that weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Th th really think about it. Now that me and you are using the same thing, who's going to win? Wh who's going to win? Exactly. That's why when it comes to balancing, that's why I feel like when it comes to pro players, we're not trying to make stuff boring. We're just trying to make stuff more fair. And sadly, we, we have the competitive mind, but it's like we just want more things on a playing even feel where you feel like you can use different items and different stuff. We don't want to force to be using this one crazy, hectic weapon because it's just that good, you know? There needs to be a balance for everything, which they did talk about, which, again, will be later in the video. So, yeah, keep watching. If you're enjoying, if you're still watching, great. We're 15 minutes in. I appreciate you. <laughs> but, yeah, next, hackers. So, hackers are always going to be in every game. I'm not going to lie. There's just certain hackers that I feel like should definitely just be plainly banned. But again, we don't know what coding is. We don't know how, you know, anti cheats and all that stuff um, works. But god damn, there were some crazy, crazy hackers. And I think I could talk about this now since it's fixed. But before, you could start this game and just close out the anti cheats. Yeah, they had like a, ba I guess, a basic anti cheat. You could straight up just close it. That was insane to even hear that was possible. And the reason I'm only talking about it now is because I think it's patched, so you can't do that no more. But to even hear that was insane. Bro, the amount of hackers... Well, okay, let me not even say the amount of hackers, because in reality, I actually didn't get that many hackers. Like, when I first started playing, I probably got a hacker once a day. Um, and then in the future, uh, when they say they improved their, their, <laughs> their anti-cheat, <laughs> I actually started getting, like, three hackers a day, which is crazy. I don't even know how that works. But um, as you can see... I have over nearly about to hit 400 matches, probably even more than 400 matches, because you know sometimes these trackers are a little bit off, but yeah, and I probably say out of all my matches, 10%, maybe even a little less than that were hackers, you know, probably 30, 40 max, nothing too crazy, so, you know, hackers wasn't that bad, but some of them was just so like, what, what did um, people call it, I think rage, rage hackers, where they just blatantly do it like on some crazy level stuff, those are the annoying ones, like rocket bullets and all these crazy stuff and just shooting and just killing everybody, yeah. I'm happy that's getting improved. Again, that's something I'm going to be talking about um, at the end of the video. If you want to keep watching, appreciate it. Um, next is crossplay. Yeah, so they're actually testing out crossplay right now um, with, um, uh, what did I say, with um, PC and Xbox right now. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised they didn't just start off with um, Xbox and PS5, but I think the reason why is because on the Xbox, you can't get the game the normal way yet like through the store you actually have to get it through an app which is very interesting i don't know why they did that to them and apparently it's only on the x but not the s yeah xbox is screwed up right now so i think the reason why they're doing that is one to test out the crossplay and then two to help out the xbox um uh, player base because i'm not gonna lie it is very dwindling and keep going down because again game isn't um, very optimized and all that stuff um it's better on consoles in my opinion um from friends that play on console they say that the game is pretty much stable not in too perfect but decently runs consistently at 60 most of the time maybe drop to a 40 where pc it's always around 30 40 maybe 50 and drops still um but yeah um so that's good that they're doing that they're testing that out already which is awesome because you know i feel like we're in 2024 bro we're about to hit 2025 if your game doesn't have crossplay you're insane like i don't, I don't even know what to tell you anymore bro like every game has crossplay you you, you just need it <laughs> um next is the devs and mods in the discord so the devs are very actually talkative um some of them are not not all of them um and they're great people the only issue that i have and not really an issue just a very thing that needs to be changed um in the discord again it's just it's literally just one sided thing and over time that would just go away because it's like a, just one subject which is the hackers yeah um they just had this thing where they didn't really want you to talk about hacking or like give um you know accusations on players you know because of toxicity and all that stuff I get that. I 100% I agree. You know, it's really bad to kind of call people out and, you know, start this riot and this witch hunt on people. Absolutely. I get that. I agree. But when I feel like it's blatant, I, I, I want a dev to Daniel snap somebody. Yeah, I, I don't even, like, I get it. You know, someone has such aim. Their aim is perfect. You know, they got the smooth aiming, aim by, you know, soft aim by, and all that stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Those people, yeah, that's going to take some time. But the people that is just... Come on, bro. Let me post my video. You see the name. Get him out of here. Now, I will say there was a thing where you can um spoof, which was kind of crazy. I didn't even know that was a thing. But, yeah, you can spoof your name in the game. But because of this tracker right here, you actually couldn't.
because it has your real um you know id or whatever um your actual name pretty much and i think that was awesome so i was like maybe they just made a guy of like how to actually post hackers i think it'd have been awesome i think if you show a video of the person hacking and then go into which i know this tracker thing is already crazy with you know with valorant fortnite but for this game it is fucking insane what bro i'm just gonna click on it bro it shows you everyone's kd everyone kills everyone assists everyone's death everyone's damage everyone's damage taken knocks revival accuracy and not just your accuracy your accuracy on almost all your top guns that you use that game where you headshotted them how many times you headshot them hands legs jetpacks time survive bro 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 this is insane to me this is insane to me i i know for some of y'all that's probably just normal this is insane that this has so much information so yeah again it literally just grabs the right person's name as long as you saw his teammates which shouldn't be spoofing because you know he probably cute where in person or playing with a friend try to boost them they're gonna be with him and then they're gonna pop up it's a real name so uh i wish they just actually went crack down on that way and were like hey this is how you actually report people because they wanted you to send it through this website and put your email and your name and that 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 it was just too much i'm sorry i know going through support it's just too much you have a discord you have people that love playing the game and active in your discord give us a channel ladies give us a channel where we can just be like yo this guy is blatantly hacking this is his name this is his um otg um tracker um account this is this was the match go look for it ban them get them out simple that's that, that's my only thing with the mods other than that they're great they're cool people i love them yeah moving on big budget this game has a budget of a hundred and million dollars yes i'm not sure if that's for the whole thing currently or after they released it but this game has a big budget and I think it shows with the whole cinematics and stuff, and it's amazing, like I said. Uh, they have a team over of 130 people, I want to say, or 160, some crazy number. And I can't wait to see what they do with the updates, because right now, I'm not going to lie, the updates are pretty terrible. <laughs> After that one update, the last three updates have been quite awful. Not awful, um, just not enough. They, they, they did small fixes and barely any in-game fixes. It was kind of actually depressing to see um, how they were treating the game with these updates, because... We waited because it looked like they were going to do one a week. And then on the second week, you know, it was like a BS little fixes and stuff. I'm sitting here like, ain't no way, right? Then the next day I had an update, something very small. Then two days later, I have an update, very, very small. I'm sitting here like, y'all are trolling, right? Yeah, y'all are trolling. But after a while, you know, the devs are talking and stuff. And, you know, sometimes they want to talk, sometimes they don't. But it kind of gave hints of like what they're doing and like testing and stuff and how November 1st, supposedly not confirm it could change but november 1st should be a massive update so which is in like two days so two days we should be getting a massive update of everything which i will get into at the end of the video so if you are enjoying you know keep watching and then at the end of the video i kind of explain you know all the stuff that they um have improved on and all that stuff and i can't wait um marketing was the marketing great um i think the marketing was awesome i think the marketing was fantastic i think they were the first game in a long time to actually do the marketing like i've been begging devs to do for the longest so if you remember apex i think apex did, did it first yeah pretty sure did, apex did it first and they did it the best that's when they got myth courage ninja and all these streamers to play their game like the first what week or two and stream it consistently day in and day out because guess what that's gonna make people interested i'm like hmm, why is my streamer that i watch every day or every other day or someone that i truly jo enjoy watching on the frequent play this game hmm that's going to bring my interest to play the game versus my streamer, which, you know, in the day and age that we know how ads work, you know, they're playing a game for two, three hours. Oh, you're playing a new game. This is cool. That's awesome. And then he never plays it again. Why would that gain my interest? Cool. You played a new game for a little bit. That was cool. It, it, you know, it had something, eh, whatever. You know, you're, not, you, you're never back on it. Okay, cool. No one's going to care. But if you have that streamer playing the game over and over and over, then it's me like, all right, all right, what's the hype about this game? And give the game an actual try. And if they like it, guess what? They say if they don't like it, and guess what? They move on. And that's what um, Off The Grid did. Off The Grid had Ninja, had Stroud, had all these Spanish um, streamers, um, foreign streamers, from other country streamers, fucking, uh, fucking clicks, fucking eight, bro. They had so many, Stroud, they had so many streamers. Tim the Tap, they had so many streamers, bro, playing the game in and out. Scumpy, everybody, and everybody. But unfortunately, 
the two things that held the game back to kind of just blow up, blow up. Because, like, again, I think the game still blow up and still has a, a pretty big, big, bro. When I say I'd be looking at Discord, bro, over, like, 70-plus parties are still being, like, in the call of the main Discord, actively playing, and then, you know, consoles and all that stuff. The game has a player base, but the player base could easily times three or times five if one. The goddamn game um, had good performance because, again, the FPS was terrible. And, unfortunately, the... um. Um, what is it called? The controversy about the game is the whole blockchain thing. You know, everyone's like, oh, block, you know, some people are just going to straight up just ignore it because of that, which is very sad to hear. You know, I, I love to give every game a, a fair shot before I judge it. Because, again, I told you my first impression. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, this is an ad, whatever. I'll give it a shot since it's free. And then when I played it first try, it was so unoptimized. I was like, yo, I can't play this game. What the fuck? But, again, I wanted to give it a fair try. I fixed my frames. Even though I had to work for it. I don't know why I had to go through all this bullshit to play a goddamn game. But I did it. And then I actually gave the game a chance. I was like, oh, shoot. This game is actually fun. It's actually, it's actually great. Dope. So, so, yeah. So, those are the two big things that kind of butchered their marketing. Because I think the marketing was great. Like, they, they hit the nail on everything, bro. They hit the nail. But, unfortunately, a game being unoptimized is really going to hurt you. And then the whole blockchain thing is going to also hurt you. But, hopefully, people um, kind of go past that and hopefully um even if this fails like the whole i guess blockchain thing i hope more devs kind of look into the whole in-game marketing like csgo because i think it's dope to kind of own your items and kind of feel it feels more security you know or not security it feels more like worth it when you buy items now because i'm not gonna lie recently i've actually been buying less items in games and not just because i don't want to it's just because i kind of don't want to commit to a game that dies you know like everyone fears um, but it would be dope, like, for example, look at Fortnite. Even though it's not dying, I don't play it no more. It would have been dope to be like, all right, well, I don't play this game anymore. Here goes my skins. Let me go sell them off. No, they're just collecting dust. Like, many other games before are just collecting dust that I'm never, ever, ever, ever going to touch again. So to have a market to where I'd be like, all right, well, I don't want to play this game anymore. Or I have no interest in this item anymore. Here you go. Let me go sell it and make some, you know, a few dollars back. I really hope that idea gets picked up in the future. I think that's dope. Um, but yeah. Um, next. Should you try this game? Yes. But on launch. Um, even though I love this game and I really want to recommend it to a lot of people, it's not there yet. Um, again, it's an early access, so you know, got to give it benefit of the doubt. But it's not there yet. And I don't want to give y'all a... Ba oh, I just... First time getting this. Um, but I don't want to give y'all a bad taste in your mouth about this game. And a bad taste would be playing this game in its current state. One, because of the FPS. Two, because sometimes hackers are still there. They're do Again, it's getting cleaned up better and better every day, but hackers are still there. Um, um, oh, the whole the whole game isn't... Pretty much the game isn't out. I, I just don't think it's worth it. Now, if you are interested in the game and you do see yourself playing this game in the future, then I recommend it because, again, you playing this game and again, these hexes, you keep all your items. You don't keep um, this because this is the whole you know currency that they're going to be using in the, in the blockchain and you know, transferring and all that stuff, that's being wiped out. But your items, all this stuff that I have, I have earned, this is me. This is this, These are all my items that's going to be moving on to the main net or whatever the hell it's called. And once the game goes live and launches, I can sell all this stuff. I can sell every single one. 50 cent. Come to my shop. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, now, do I think this game has a brow future still yes i actually think they do have a bright future and this is the reason why one when it comes to hackers they're actually gonna do hardware bans guys yeah uh dev um hopefully i'm able to talk about this but if i'm not i'm so sorry but yeah they're doing hardware bans for hackers so if you get caught hacking you're done your your pc is blocked you got to go get another pc just to play this game if you want to or any eac game or some, some something they said but yeah um next is the, the massive update in november um it looks very promising i just hope they hit a lot of nails when it comes to balancing when it comes to the the cyber stuff when it comes to some of these um variants of the weapons that they have currently when it comes to performance like if all that stuff actually gets hit properly then it'll be awesome and then again if it gets closer and closer because theoretically uh, not theoretically um pretty much not rumor i guess rumors let's just say rumors but within the next month or two this game should be like full launching because the game is pretty much done. Again, it just needs to be cleaned up, performance, get rid of hackers, and get rid of get ready for whatever their main net, you know, blockchain situation is in the game. And it's good to go. 
now just to add more content, you know, more limbs, um, additions. Oh, add the, the battle royale, 150 people. Show us the story mode, bro. If this story mode is crazy and like intuitive into the battle royale, it's gonna be insane. I I can't wait. Um, I mean, this won't really bring y'all interest, but you know, you never know. New creator skin might drive you to the game. You know, you have Ninja. Next might be Tim the Tap. I think Tim the Tap is next. I'm not gonna lie. He he was really enjoying this game. At least how he showed it and. He he I think he streamed it the most out of everybody and made a lot of videos. Like he made a lot of videos. My man Ninja didn't even make a video until like I think three days ago, bro. They had posted about Ninja and I was like, Oh, he's live again? Cool. You know, pipe I add. No, it was just his first time uploading his off the grid video. I'm sitting here like You have a skin in the game. Ninja, what what are you doing? But you know, a bag is a bag for these streamers. Um and then again, the massive update is gonna be should be dope. I'm not even gonna say it is because I don't know. I have no information. Apparently, um, if you're a pioneer, those people kind of have more information and stuff, and they're excited. That's the best thing I could say. So, I'm excited, um, and I can't wait for this game. And oh, another reason why I feel like this game is gonna do still good is because their um, budget is pretty big. So when the game actually releases, I 100%. I'm not even guessing. I 100% they're gonna know they're gonna hit up all those streamers again, and try it again. And if the game is betterly optimized, if those streamers properly explain how the market is pretty much like CS:GO, and you can make money off of it, and you can sell your items, that's gonna spark some interest in people. And again, if the gameplay overall is just amazing, which it is, when you're not abusing the broken stuff, which will hopefully be balanced by that time, the game is awesome, bro. And I think another reason why I like this game because it reminds me of like Fortnite and Naraka. And not in gameplay wise, but how gunfights are. So in Fortnite and Naraka, these battle royals, which I guess this is the reason why I never really got into like Call of Duty, uh, Warzone, you know, past the first time it dropped because obviously everyone played it. And Apex, you know, again, whenever when it dropped, everyone played it. But over time, I kind of just didn't interest it. It's because when it comes to like gunfights in those games, when you get third party, you're kind of just stuck there to fight, you know. And pretty much most of the time you get third party, you just... You, you GG's, right? Like, you just finish a fight, you're barely, barely alive, and you die. But when it comes to Fortnite and Naraka, you actually can disengage with, again, Fortnite, building, and in Naraka, uh, movement ability, which this game kind of has. So, like, you're never forced to stay in a fight. But there are ways to dis like, not to let people get away in your fights. But I'll, I always like that um, ability to disengage when I have to. Or, you know, when a third party comes in, I could just separate myself versus, well, I have to stay here and fight, which I think that's why I enjoy more because I feel like it's more skillful versus, you know, you're seeing a team fight over there and you're like, oh, let's go fight them, let's go fight them. And then, you know, your third party from across the screen. Well, in this game, you get third party or you feel like you're about to die in a situation, you can kind of disengage. Now, again, there are items to catch you if you don't know how to disengage properly. So it's not no, oh, you can just run away from every fight because you, you could get caught up. <coughs> but yeah. Um, and yeah, that was like my little TED talk rant about off the grid and how I enjoy it and a hundred goddamn hexes being unlocked right now as I go into my last five, which should have been done way earlier if I was like actually focusing on it. <laughs> um, but if you liked the video, leave a like about the video, comment about anything, you know, I love y'all comments, comments if you think I'm an idiot, comments if you think I'm smart about this and the potential for this game. And if you do enjoy off the grid videos. Um, hit subscribe button guys. Um, this is definitely gonna be in the back burner of account uh, back burner of games that I play Um, because if you don't know I'm gonna be going to Marvel Rivals, but you know <laughs> If uh, off the grid want to take off and you know start getting the content creators, you know, <laughs> I'm here, but you know <laughs> Yeah, um, but even then I'll definitely want to look back into it because you know <laughs> I got all these items Of course, I'm gonna come back and look at it and see you know how everything's flourishing and stuff But yeah, hit subscribe button guys, and I'm out. Peace she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a home that the state Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous Got a 9 to 5 on the side, she a waitress But it's getting tough, hard to find out